Hello everyone. This is going to be a quick demonstration of this M&S Refrigeration Systems Watchman Door Alarm. This appliance is used in commercial refrigeration systems. And this particular model has a variety of different variants depending on the type of alarms to display. So you just got a bunch of switches, buttons, and pulse stations here for the three alarm conditions that this appliance alerts for. Leak, help, and door. And the horn in the middle of it all is a Wheelock 31T horn, and it's quite loud. It runs on AC. This whole appliance runs on AC, and we can take a look at the circuit board in the back of this after the demonstration. So the leak alarm is controlled by this simplex test switch here. Normally this would be applied to some sensor that detects a leak or something like that. So when there's a leak alarm, the leak still flashes, and the 31T sounds in a modest march time rate. This button here is for the, the help alarm. So you press that, sounds the horn on continuous and the help strobe. And then the door alarm is controlled by this game of century pole station. Normally this circuit would be closed as the door remains closed and when the door opens, there is a slight delay where only the strobe flashes and if the door isn't shut within that time period, then the horn will start sounding in a slower march time rate. All right, so let's just demonstrate it. I guess that pulsing rate's a bit like Simplex 2001 Star March Time, though not exactly. Alright, now let's press this. Yeah, that one's pretty straightforward. And now we'll do the door alarm. You can flip the switch and it acts like the door has been opened. All right, so that's it for this demonstration. Now let's open up the appliance and we can see the circuit board that controls all of this. Okay, so here's what the inside of the door alarm looks like. So it has this circuit board here that controls all of the alarm conditions. So there's actually a little bit of configuration that can be done depending on the system and what needs to be controlled. So this appliance runs off of 120 volts AC and they have all the contacts for all the alarm conditions. There's some extra conditions here like this fan and security alarm contacts. I'm not sure if these are outputs or inputs. I believe the circuit board remains the same regardless of the alarm that's on the system. So say if you have an appliance that only has the door alarm and you only just connect the door terminals. So the door and the leak alarms both have delays that can be configured. So the leak alarm in this demonstration was off, but these can be set to anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes depending on what's preferred. And the door alarm also has its own set of delays. It could be anywhere from 15 seconds to up to 20 minutes. Again, this could be configured as needed. There's also this little jumper here to set if you want the leak alarm switch to be normally closed or normally open. That probably depends on what the leak detection system uses. So that's pretty much it. Very simple. There's a terminal block here and that connects to the appliance right here. So look on the back. You have your model number, FLHSS, and this is what connects back to the circuit board, and you just got the standard 31T horn behind it. And it's pretty cool. This appliance isn't all that old, and while the 7002T, as many people might know them as, has been long discontinued by now, the 31T looks like it's still used for more general signaling purposes. And it's not every day you see a 31T that has three different strobes on it especially one with a red strobe on it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this little demonstration. This is a pretty cool appliance that uses a familiar mechanical horn, especially for people in the farming community. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a nice day.